there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And yes, as you can tell from the title, the Reds have made a signing in the transfer window in Callum Britton from MK Dons. Before we get talking though, drop a like on the video if you could please and subscribe to Tax TV as well. MK Dons fans, get your comments in because from what I gather, you guys aren't too pleased with the fact that Callum uh, Britton has left you having only recently signed a two-year contract extension. Get your comments in uh, if you could, if there's any of you out there, of course, who happen to be up on football fan channels. Um, so, delighted. I, I've got to say delighted. We've had to go to the lower leagues in England. That's something we've been saying for quite a number of weeks, months, years, because it's all right going overseas. It's all right, but it also takes players a lot of time to bed in. It takes them a lot of time to get to know the teammates, to learn the language, to get used to championship football. This lad's never played in the championship, granted. However, with him being in England, English player, English talent, uh, he will have a bit of an inkling of what the league's about. And that's the difference. You know, they'll come straight in, excuse me. They'll come straight in. Uh, and uh, obviously, I know what some of you will be shouting as well. You'll be shouting, you'll be shouting, oh, we need a striker, Luke. We need a midfielder. I get that as well. From what I gather, the club are still looking at making a couple of signings. Well, they need to make a couple of signings. They need to make a few more signings. We, we, I know we need a striker and a midfielder, but we did also need this this defender because we're killing Ludovic going earlier on in the week to uh, back loan and back. His loan spell ended and he moved to Schalke. We had to get this 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 player in. You know, he's a versatile fullback who's very very quick, from can get forward and can get back when we're when we're uh, on the back foot. So that's really good to see. Uh, obviously, he's versatile. He's got to be versatile, otherwise you don't get a contract at Barnsley. So he's a. Uh, he can do fullback. He can do goalie. He can play up front. He can do linesman. If linesman's sick, he can he can wash kit. He can polish boots. He's so versatile. You've got to be able to do that if you come to Barnsley. Uh, and his name speaks for itself, Callum Britton. When we've been asking for British players to come in, and that's not 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 a snobbish thing. I think the club have been more snobbish about it with all these overseas players. If I'm honest. So it's nice to see, and obviously there's no head coaching at the minute, so it's the club making these decisions. But clearly, if it's the if it's the regime, you know, only 22 years of age, and actually making over 100 appearances in leagues one and two for MK Dons, and his recent spell was in League One, making 31 league appearances, which is a huge amount of appearances, and 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 the age, and his age as well. So he's definitely got. The games under his belt. Obviously, our class experience is a mixture of games and age. But at the same time, you know, to make that amount of appearances for uh, for MK Dons, you know, and, and playing in League Two. Well, actually, was first breakthrough season was in League One, and then he played a full season in League Two with him, and then back last season in League One. So, I think we've got a good, I think we've got an half decent player here, and I can't knock it really because it's it's from it's from here, it's from what we've been asking, it's what we've been asking for a player. From Britain, because like I said, even though he, he's never played in the Championship, he's gonna know sort of what it's gonna be about. Because, like, you're gonna know, you know, and 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 it's a big big step up from League One to the Championship. It is, but listen, we obviously see something. We've done our research. According to Dame, we've been after him for a while. That old chestnut. So I can't knock the signing, and I'm definitely I'm not going to knock it because we need we need to see what he's all going he's going to be about. And hopefully, you know, he'll come straight into the side. I, I'd like to see him come straight into the side. Obviously, I could see him probably being on the bench and then working his way in. But you never know. Uh, he signed a contract here till 2023 with an option in the club's favour for an, uh, an extra year. Um, bolsters Reds defence, like it says here online. And hopefully, you know, he's. He's the first of a few to come in because there is still a few more players we do need, like we touched on earlier, striker, midfielder. 100% we need a striker and midfielder. Uh, Dane say it's a, say, says it's a significant um, signing addition to the squad, so that's always good. Uh, terrific young talent. Uh, I'm de delighted to welcome him to Oakwell. Uh, and... Uh, Callum says, uh, I'm really happy to get it done and looking forward to meeting the lads and hopefully hit the ground running. It's been a positive few years of development in League 1 and 2 and now I feel it's perfect time uh, to come and test myself at Championship level. Uh, everyone, everyone only has good things to say about Barnsley and I'm sure I can achieve my goals here. Yeah, that's that's right. I mean, hopefully, you know, obviously with what's going on over the last few weeks regarding the board and the manager's situation, it's not ideal for him. 
But uh, hopefully the man the man who comes in sees him sees him. And obviously it's going to be Adam Murray at the moment. But uh, yeah, delighted for him, and I definitely think he does deserve that move. Grafted in leagues one and two over the last few years, and we've given him that chance. And you do get the chance when you come to Barnsley. So I wish him all the best, and I'm actually happy with this signing because it's it's it gives me something to look forward to. I can sort of judge it more because of the games he's played. I'm going on the games he's played consistently for MK Dons, and. Uh, Coming into the championship, yeah, you might find it hard first first couple of games, but there's there's definitely going to be a player in there. I mean, he's England under twenties international, so I'm happy. I am happy with this signing. Uh, and like I said, going abroad, it's all right sometimes. It worked with Ludovic and Solbauer, but then there's other players. You know, we're not seeing out of freezer yet. Ritz Meyer's gone, um, and I mean gone. He was gone when he came, but. Let's just hope, you know, now that obviously this is where we're going to be looking because the other window's shut. We've got to look in our own country at players, you know, who have a bit more an idea of the our club as well as the league. Um, so good luck to the lad and well done to Barnsley for getting uh, this signing on board and I'm happy and I, I hope, you know, that uh, it works out for him and it works out for us because we did need to make that signing of a defender. But we do need we do need to make signings elsewhere as well, and not just signings. We've got to keep all those key players. From what I've heard, Corley Woodrow's apparently been linked to a move to Cardiff in a multi million pound deal. Um, so I hope that we can keep him because if he goes, you know, the goals definitely have dried up. We've just got to find somebody with killer pass that can supply him with chances uh, and create create because that's half the problem. We can't create now. So let's hope you know that this signing works. And like I said. Uh, according to Dane, captured highly rated defender, so fingers crossed on him, and, and I can't knock it, best of luck, and let, let me know, obviously, Reds fans, get your com comments in on uh, Callum Britton signing, Callum Britton from Britain, signs for Barnsley, uh, very positive, hopefully, you know, it all does work out, and uh, yeah, I can't I can't describe how much delighted I am. I, I am, I am delighted, let's hope as well we get an head coach in very, very soon, and I say head coach, because it's going to be, because otherwise we want to make this signing. You like the manager sign players. That I'm old school. I, I, I'd like it to be that, but unfortunately we're not like that. It's the board that gets the players. But um, yeah, let's hope so soon. I mean, there's rumours speculating all over about that and odds and everything that don't really matter because anybody can put money on anybody to be uh, to come in and. Uh, until it gets announced officially, then that's when we'll probably talk about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Get your comments in, and uh, hopefully there's a sign-in maybe in a few hours. Or am I taking it a bit too far there? Maybe a couple of days we get the striker in uh, that we def desperately need um, before, definitely before the game next week, next Saturday against Bristol City. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to give the video a like, subscribe, and also MK Dons fans, if you have. If you, any of you are here, then get your comments in uh, and let us know what your thoughts are on Callum Britton coming to us and uh, if he's uh, highly rated and if he'll be missed and everything like that. So thanks for watching, guys. All the best. You Reds.